How's it going guys? Hope you guys are doing well. We are back for another shave. Um, real excited to use some new gear today. So this is on loan to me from my buddy Justin. Thanks so much for loaning this to me. Very generous of you. This is the Turn and Shave M1. Um, I'm sure you guys are familiar with uh, Milton by now. He is the artisan behind Turn and Shave. I'm just amazed at how jelly this thing is. <laughs> oh my goodness. Jeez. So I, I'm convinced this is more jelly than B10. I'm convinced. I don't think the white tips were as deep. I remember the white tips being deeper on my B10, but the, in terms of the amount of gel, it might be more or similar. Now I didn't like, I didn't really like uh, B10 for that reason. It felt amazing on the face, but um, that's why I haven't bought the M1. That, that's the only reason why. We're up to like the M3 now, so I'm late to the party. That's the only reason I didn't, I didn't buy it. It's just, it was a, it felt amazing on the face. Um, if you don't like scrub, like really soft, but it was just hard for me to lather. Um, so what I'll do is I'll just shake out the knot and I'll just load longer. We are using uh, Zingari Man Barrel Proof. Um, this is kind of a uh, successor to the Duo. I'll talk about that as a load the soap. All right, so we'll go up to, we're at 130, we'll go up to 230. We'll do a full minute, maybe we'll do more, whatever. We'll get a nice load on there. Really happy I grabbed this scent. I almost didn't, but I was lucky enough to grab this scent. It was, it sold out like immediately, which I find kind of ironic because there was two separate batches for the duo. Um, and only one batch, small batch of this, it sold out immediately. Uh, and like all retailers too. I don't know if she, uh, Zingari Man plans to bring it back or not, but I really hope she does. It's just, uh, it's a really nice scent. It's nice, it's uh, got bourbon-y, bourbon -y vibe a little bit. Uh, definitely some sandalwood, a little bit of booziness. It's nice. Uh, we'll go another 10 seconds, who knows. Doesn't hurt, the more the merrier. We'll go back to the Rockinelle Sailor today. My friend, uh, the owner who owns the Razor, he recommended the Gillette Silver Blues of the Astras, which um, I kind of find smoother than the Kai's due to the added exposure. All right, we're at like a minute and 10 seconds. If, uh, if this doesn't lather, I don't know what will. I'm just really nervous that I won't be able to build a lather because um, I really struggled with that B10 back in the day it was last summer um so yeah brand new gillette silver blue i'm gonna take it apart here oh one thing i forgot to mention i actually noticed this after the first shave is it has to be facing a particular way the top cap so where it says rock nail downward it has to be away from the dot this metal dot here so i just keep that in mind Let's load the blade without cutting ourselves here. Um, all right, cool. So rock nail away from the dot and that's it. It's pretty easy to load um, other than that. So fresh Gillette silver blue. Um, yep, the dot lines up, everything makes sense. Get into the ladder here. Just dipping the tips a little bit, get some water in there. So the reason I shake out all the water, especially on these jelly tip, gel tipped knots that are heavily gelled, it just um, it just makes picking up the soap easier. Um, since they're, uh, it can produce almost like a slimy feeling uh, when it's full of gel, full of water, and it just won't be able to pick it up. The hooks will be able to pick up more soap. Once the once the uh, the water's been shaken out, and I find that to be especially true with these gel tip knots. So if whoever has one of those, um, yeah, this thing is crazy dense. So it does splay a bit, but it's kind of reminds me of my B11, my Blood of Kings in a way where it kind of feels almost spongy when it splays. So um, in terms of splay action, it's not a crazy amount, but nevertheless, the tips feel very nice. And because it's so dense, 
I don't know the loft, but it just um, has a nice good backbone to it. And uh, that sponginess that I'm referring to doesn't make the knot any better or worse. It's just something I noticed. But it seems like we're developing a lather here. No issues with the gel tips. I find that you just have to load longer. Um, yeah, if I still had my B10 right now, I'd revisit it with that in mind. But um, I, from going off memory, that one did have deeper gel. Um, like in terms of the white tips, the white tips were longer on mine. Just going off memory, not 100% sure. But this is very soft. So this is like, it's pretty much a cloud. You actually get a tiny bit of scrub because like I said, the white tips aren't deep. But um, yeah, you could lather all day with this and not get brush burn. I can, at least me personally, I can't guarantee someone else can, but at least I can't. Um, yeah, so I might be lathering for a bit here. I know Sago does take a little bit longer sometimes to lather, kind of like Excelsior does, but I enjoy the lathering process, so I'm not really butthurt about that, am I? But yeah, it's coming together, it's super dense. It's kind of like what I like about uh, Zingari Man Sago. It's very dense, not a ton of structure, so if you load a little bit heavier, it's uh, it's not going to be uh, super puffy or anything like that. Yeah, and you just keep agitating without worrying that it's going to uh, be over over puffy. Now I just used the Rockinel Sailor last night, so we're only working on like I don't know, fifteen or so hours of growth. But um, what I noticed when I had the three setting up uh, against the grain on my face. Um, that side started to get more irritation than the one where I went uh, the milder one setting, but after an hour it kind of subsided and both were both sides were BBS and smooth and damn this lather is looking pretty dope right now. Oh yeah. Yeah, so about the knot, it's very it's yeah, like I said, very jelly, very soft scrub. The flow through seems to be fine. Once you get an adequate once you get an adequate load, um, flow through seems to be okay. It's not um, not horrible. I don't know if this knot is for me. Uh, the amount of gel tips that it has, um, I don't know. But uh, the shape is very comfortable to hold in the hand. I forgot what it's called. He does have uh, his own shape names, but um, yeah, it's very interesting. The M2 is got very little gel, but I heard very, still very soft. That's something I would, uh, cause he, I think he gets the hair untreated and he treats them, he treats it himself. So that's cool. Um, so you could kind of have more control on that process or experience. Um, sorry about that. <laughs> um, yeah, we're, we're pretty much good. I'll go into the scent on that second pass. Um, yeah, so, and he's up to M3, which I heard is less dense. If I were to get a Milton knot, turn it shave, I'd probably want it to be slightly less dense. Um, just so I can get like a tiny bit more comfortable splaying. Just a, a nitpick, not really a complaint. Um, I, don't want, I don't know if it's a deal breaker, but for being picky. Um, let's go to setting two. This is like my favorite, or I don't know, go to setting three. And then we can finish on two maybe. Feels a little bit better today, actually. It might be the bleed, it might be the soap, but it feels pretty nice. Three's kind of nice, actually. Yeah. We don't have a ton of growth, so that might help, but you can see a little bit of growth on the bottom of the lather. Rinse is easy enough, so hydrated enough. Yeah, I'm liking setting three. It's, it feels like uh, you get a hint of blade feel. It's not crazy. It's not 
It's not um, mild either. I'd say it's mid aggressive. It's not aggressive and it's not mild. Um, probably similar maybe to the Yates precision manufacturing kind of blade feel. The, the M plate maybe. I haven't used that in over a year, but <laughs> um, it kind of comes to mind in terms of blade feel on this gap, which is gap number three. Damn, I forgot how good uh, this base, this soap is. Sago base is fantastic. And uh, what I noticed too, this is shave number three in a row or four, can't remember at this point. What I noticed too is each shave, I'm getting more and more used to the weight of the razor, where it kind of felt like a brick to me. Uh, the last shave, like the, the first shave, I'm just more and more accustomed to it. I kind of grip it higher, closer to the head. Um, so uh, despite the fact that it's well balanced, it kind of just makes it a little bit easier to maneuver. All right, second pass. We'll get into the scent. The scent notes are bourbon, sandalwood, and uh, oak wood. So um, I don't really know what oak wood smells like. To be honest with you guys, um, actually I've smelled this a few fragrances, I think with oak wood, uh, sense of wood I might have, but um, I don't get a crazy amount of woody notes. I kind of do actually, yeah. Um, but that's the sandalwood. It's, yeah, that's the sandalwood. It's not the oak wood. Um, to me, this is predominantly a sandalwood scent. It kind of has like a vanilla vibe to it. Let's, let's, uh, to take this a bit. Yeah, it's got like a sandalwood vibe to it. It's not, uh, and it's definitely got a booziness, like a burgundy booziness. I haven't smelled the original, but I heard it, the scent strength was like super weak due to the uh, ingredients in the her new vegan base. She was debuting that base, um, but the scent strength seems to be around like five or six, yeah, maybe even like a six, yeah. Um, but yeah, I haven't smelled the first one, but this one smells pretty great to me. I'm kind of upset that this splash sold out everywhere before I was able to pick it up. So, like I said, hopefully it's restocked, but if not, life goes on. Yeah, this lather's awesome. Like I said, this brush I could kind of play with all day with, uh, and not get any brush burn just because it's that soft. And because of its density, it's got good backbone somehow, despite its density and gel tips. I think if you load adequate, if you get an ad, if you get a good amount of load adequate, it's not the appropriate word. If you get like a, a solid load on there, you uh, you won't have any flow through issues in my opinion. Um, just my only complaint. We'll go to setting two. Try that. Yeah, that's perfect, man. Two is, to me, so far, two is the, my sweet spot with this freezer. It's like aggressive, but on the lower, lower uh, end of, lower tier of mid aggressive. Um, yeah, so my only nitpick about the knot is it, it's a little bit spongy in that it doesn't splay. It's not that it doesn't splay easily, but you don't get a lot of splay. Um, and that's just a nitpick. In the grand scheme of things, does it matter? No, but it's kind of just like a feeling that I look for. Wow, solid. Yeah, I noticed this is much smoother with the Gillette Silver Blue. Those are like my go-to blades for more aggressive gaps. On the 1.45 Wolfman that I used it, it even made that gap feel smooth, super smooth, but yeah. That's the growth. Yeah, so my thoughts so far on the Rocknell is I'm enjoying it more and more each shave. Um, I didn't really enjoy it as much the last shave because maybe it was the Kai and the fact that I was playing with the, uh, the gaps too much, but really enjoying this shave throughout. All right, let's uh, get into the third pass. I don't want another 20 minute video. 
Yeah, so those are my thoughts on the, the M1. Uh, very nice uh, gel, very soft, very nice soft scrub. In terms of feel on the face, feels great. Flow through is fine with an adequate load, it seems. Um, yeah, um, no issues with the flow through. You just gotta overload the shit out of it. <laughs> um, kind of like with the 10, but it's slightly different. I think it might be more dense though. Due to its density though, like I said many times in this video, um, it might affect its ability to splay if you're someone who likes that. Staying on setting two here. Yeah, I'm definitely liking this. Rocking it more and more every shave. This kind of feels similar to, setting two on this might be similar to setting four on the Muramasa. The owner of this razor has my Muramasa right now, so I'm not able to do a side-by-side, -side, but I don't think I need to. I could kind of get an idea of the blade feel. It might be, if there was, if I could make the setting in between three and four of Muramasa, I think I can actually, then I would say that's what the two feels like. Because three, I have very little bleed feel on the Muramasa. So three would be more similar to one on this. So yeah, that's just the observation. And then two on this would be similar to like 3.5 on the Muramasa maybe. Ooh. As for the scent, like I said, you get a vanilla sandalwood vibe, predominantly sandalwood. You're followed by like that vanilla vibe with the um, bourbony, like booziness. Um, to me, it's a fantastic scent. It's probably more suitable for the fall, but I'm happy I got it. Um, if, if I were to compare that to like another sandalwood forward scent, like Barrister and Man sandalwood, I'd have to take this. It smells great. The, I believe Chitian Lux helped make the base notes, the base note for it in the sandalwood scent. Sandalwood part of the scent. Um, yeah. So I did get a couple nicks here. Probably my fault. Won't blame the razor, but we'll rinse and then get into the overview of the shave. Shave is on Sago, very good. On BBS, very smooth. The Nick's already stopped bleeding. Um, yeah, tiny little bit. Still, still, yeah, the face feels great on BBS. So for me, the um, setting three and then following up with the two passes, setting two worked the best. Um, very good. Um, very happy with the Rocknell. I don't know if I'll be jumping out to go buy one after I send this one back whenever I do. Um, but if you made a titanium, I consider that. I'm just very partially biased towards lighter razors. I have to include that. Barrel proof, fantastic, sandalwoody, um, bourbony, boozy uh, scent, like a little bit of vanilla vibe. That's what I get. And then the M1, uh, pretty solid flow through, extremely jelly. You may or you you may love or hate that. You probably know if you have a couple badgers by now. Um, Crazy backbone, not a ton of display, yeah, a decent amount, just a little bit. Um, very nice knot, beautiful pour and shape. It's very interesting. Yeah, that's it for the shave, guys. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.